Hello, and welcome to episode 52 of Fleet Action Report. Today we're talking about the summer event 2021. I'm Nicodus. Uh, I'm Greebug. So I guess that means get our speedos ready, as Kramer says. <laughs> summer event, right? Summer event on Ryza. Who doesn't like Ryza? I mean, come on. You got endless beaches. You've got lots of uh, swimwear, weird pets, uh, a ship up in the sky up there. Eh, what's not to like? I do like that is one thing I like about the summer event is how you always get to see the ship firsthand for what the event rewards if you complete it. So that, that's been always something they've done, and, and I've always liked that about the summer event. Unfortunately, a lot of the other event ships, you don't get as nice of a preview, I guess would be a good way to put it. I mean, you can uh, still look at the ship and the images and stuff like that. It's just here you can see it. The winner of it gives you a hologram. It's not the same as seeing like this. Uh, this as you the know. ship. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. That's where I'm coming from. But anyway, how has your week been? Uh, my week has been busy, but uh, it's, it's been okay. Um, to be completely honest with you, I've been playing a new role-playing game, uh, Metopia, <laughs> which is really cute, really corny, but kind of fun to play. So, uh, what about you? What you been up to? Um, doing a lot of dailies and wow, I'm doing dailies here too, playing around on Ryza. And, and as you can see behind me, there's people finishing the power board race, but, uh, um, let's see, what else have I been doing? Um, Hopefully we'll get to do that here in a little bit yeah i've been i've been doing i don't i can't remember i had a D, &D game on thursday i remember that uh they, they fought bugbears no one died you know yeah all kinds of funs of games um unfortunately i wasn't feeling quite that well the other night luckily i'm feeling much better now so i had to cancel one game it's all right. We forgive you. All right. So uh, we'll talk about this week in STO kind of as the event's going on. Um, these uh, all the summer events are on a timer. So I want to, uh, you know, get started on these. Um, the first one is when, when you first come to Rise, you'll beam down on this little pad here where I was standing. And um, you got your vendors right over here on this landing or in this hut right here. There's also a quest giver right here that does flying high. We were gonna run that for you, but I think we need to get over to the uh, biathlon. So we'll come back to flying high. That doesn't usually take very long. Uh, the, the circle next to the transporter area is the cosmetic vendor, the costumes and stuff. The vendor at in the pagoda is more of the, uh, what? They have the- They get the power, power board. Pa stuff. Well, no, no. I don't think they have the power boards in there. I think they just have the floaters. Oh, is it just the floaters? A lot of the power boards are sold back at the, where the power board race start line is. Um, there are vendors all over the island. Well, maybe not all over. There are v vendors in various spots on the island. Um, and to kind of get an idea where we're heading or where we are, you got to come to the back for the biathlon. Uh, the, I have read a few complaints about the uh, biathlon recently. Apparently, if you take too long, uh, you you may not finish. Which means if you don't have good enough a good enough power board and floater, and yes, you will need both, uh, you may not be able to complete. Uh, you'll notice that Nicodus and I both have. The power board that is made to look like the Back to the Future power board. Yeah, you can get these from the Phoenix uh, store. I got mine as an event giveaway a long time ago, so I get it on all my characters for free. Um, this power board, let me pull it up here, uh, gives you a speed rating of 78 and a turn rating of 150. There are power boards that have greater speed, um, but they have a 
much reduced turn rating. So honestly, I, I just kind of stick with this one. Um, there is another one that's made to look... Okay, so this is the one that Marty McFly was using. They've come up with one now that looks like the one Biff was using, future Biff was using. I kind of want to buy that, but I haven't picked it up yet. Um, so we have we have about a minute here. So let's let's uh, start on this week in STO. There is a Phoenix Prize Pack event going on. This is running from uh, July first to July eighth. So you have a couple days left. Uh, you can get a free Phoenix Prize Pack on Drozana Station or Deep Space Nine. And the experimental upgrade tokens are available in the Phoenix store with a, um, I believe it's a very rare token. Yep. They, they're also doing a Vanity Shield for Dilithium. Um, just open up the Dilithium store. You can find that right underneath the map. It's got the Dilithium icon next to the word store. And then you can pull up all the different things. Um, it is 280 dilithium if you do not have any kind of discount thanks to your fleet. So if you have a discount, it's 238,000 dilithium. Yeah, 280,000 without the the discount and 238,000 with it. Um, you might want to come over here to hit your start button or join the race button. Not to interrupt, I'm sorry. But uh, it is a lot of the... 10 previously lockbox only vanity shields that you can buy. It's a way to get vanity shields that you could not get any other way. Uh, I, I honestly think this is a way that they are trying to uh, solve the problem of the dilithium exchange. For those that don't know, the dilithium exchange has had a drought on Zen. Uh, so people could sell Zen for 500 dilithium per zen. I mean, if, if you're selling, if you were looking to get dilithium from zen, it was definitely the way to go. Oh no, someone bumped me and knocked, ah! Am I out of, am I out of the race? I don't know. I don't know. Uh-oh. Hopefully I not. Just get back I am way behind. Someone bumped <laughs> into me and I went way off course. I know that feeling. Um, for those watching, so you can see, I'm I'm in about fourth place here. Sometimes the the ramps do give you a speed boost. Those guys who are ahead of me do have faster uh, power boards. Um, with the speed boost, I'm kind of holding my own, so that's kind of an important thing. Why that little boost didn't work, I don't know. That one didn't give it to me either. So here we're coming on land. And we start the trail through the circles. And here you just fly through circles. We off you go. And if you've never done this, I highly recommend at least trying. Um, and let's say you fail. Like, you, you get used to the power board section and you keep failing on the uh, the rings. You can try and go and, like, uh, let's say one time, oh, hey, I'm not going to make it to the back of the power board. I'll just go to practice the ring section and go through the rings, see where they are going. Hello. Hey, I finished. Yeah, I actually got third place, which kind of surprises me. I don't know that I got a place, but, you know. I got um, I, I got done. You would have been, I mean, strictly speaking, you would have been fourth, because you, you came in right after me. So if I got third, you would have been fourth. Um, uh, first place gets 100 low lunet favors. Second place gets 50. Third place gets 25. And everybody else gets 15. Um, you're collecting the favors to buy some of those objects we mentioned, including power boards, floaters, and some vanity items like the swimsuit I'm wearing. Okay, now, um, the other, uh, this week in STO, the other thing we had listed down was the Transcendent Summer, 
which is the summer event. Um, this has started uh, July 1st, runs until July 31st. You need 20 days of progress to get the Ryzean Luxury Cruiser. Um, they do have new costumes added, including baseball outfits and t-shirts. There's a new power board and floater. I'm actually using the new floater. So that's the, the color of the new one there, kind of a maroon with silver. Um, there's a, a new vanity shield and a new caracal pet, which I also have. Let me pull that up for you. Let me look at my that thing looks like a mix between a fluffy dog and a bunny rabbit or maybe a cat and a bunny i'm not sure but yeah that thing and that's the new one in the new colors um there's also a new kit module which is a, a tsunami generator it can knock down enemies deal a fair bit of damage and it's got a chance to disable electronic devices so if you're fighting enemies that are dropping a bunch of turrets and whatnot you can use this to uh disable those turrets let you deal with the real threat or, or um, if you're pvp and engineers that too which we may be doing here in a week um there is a new kit frame as well it's the Ryzen volcanology uh, kit frame which i've purchased i i like it because it, it gives you three modifiers which k perf is is the one you're looking for i haven't been lucky on my uh um, re-engineering yet, so they're not quite there. Uh, I did get a weapon proficiency, armor expert, and endurance training, which is nice, but the, the K-perf is what everybody suggests you go for. Um, but it does give you total immunity to fire damage and a passive gas protection. So if you're in an environment with a lot of gas that doesn't require the full environmental suit, you can use this, um, and that way you don't have to change your armor and whatnot, which I really like. However, there is a feature of this that I don't like. It puts this mask on your face. And you can't recolor it. You can't get rid of it uh, unless you remove the kit frame. So hopefully they'll give us a visual option there to disable at some point. Don't mind okay. me. I'm trying to steal a power board from the power board shop. Uh <laughs> Anyone looking in the small screen right now, I am in the power board shop. It is in the backside of, well, kind of the side of the island. It is where the power board race starts. Um, also, something to note, there are actually uh, other vendors. Like, there is a vendor up here that has a duty officer. Um, it, it's up to you whether or not you want the duty officers. But I just found it interesting that there was a duty officer vendor out here here if i can i've heard people talk about those but i don't know if they're any good or not i'll have to go kind of look at them okay so the next event is the artifact hunt also called sand, sun sand and scavenging um a lot of people really don't like this one um you have to initialize your scanner and then as you move it will let you search for artifacts um, there are a lot of artifacts on the island, so I tend to go to this one over here. And and they are statically placed. Um, so if you can, you know, memorize where one's at, you should be able to find it pretty quickly. Um, that being said, I don't always remember exactly where it's at. There we go. Closer. So I don't so much pay attention to the lines as I do the words there on the left. So as I'm scanning and moving, it said I got farther away. Uh, it works very similar to the uh, engine uh, artif uh, artifact archaeology in World of Warcraft. Yeah. You're just trying to get closer and closer and closer until it finally will pop and tell you that you found it. There are maps online as well that will show you um, the locations or at least close to. I 
I am now closer. I, I, I'm not doing so well on this one. I'm not either. Like I said, there's a lot of people that really don't like this one. Well, that's the, weird. Uh, it made me back up to, to do a search. Well, part of the problem is that there's there's more than one. So if you get you know, farther away from one and closer to another, it will switch your target. Mine should be right here on this beach. I believe. Or not. Here, I thought I knew where I was going. I have no clue where I'm going. I can see why people don't like this one. It, it can be a little um, interesting. Well, and it's on a like a 12-minute timer. You only need to find one, though. Oh. I, I wish it would tell distance. Because that's the one nice thing about the World of Warcraft archaeology is it gives you a coloration on how close or far you are from said item. I have to be getting close. You would think so. You found it. Quickly, uh, it I found it. Me I did. Yay, good job. Well, it told me I found it, but I don't... There it is. There's the dick site. Okay, so once you pick that up, there is a turn in. Usually there's an arrow, but it didn't show up. It's it's the guys in the red tents, the same place that the biathlon, sorry, biathlon started. No, no, it's biathlon. Right there's bees <laughs> involved. Well, this is a tropical island, so there might be. <laughs> Me and my life. I found it. Right? Finally. Jeez, oh, Pete. Okay. Come over here, talk to this guy. And this is going to give me 50 Lolanet favors. Uh, it would also give me a daily uh, progress. All the events now give you daily progress. You used to have to do flying high for your daily. And then everything else would just reward you the Lola Nut favors. Um, that's not the way it works anymore, though. You can absolutely do anything on here. And Who do still I turn this those. into? It's the, all the way in the, the back. Uh, oh, geez. nope. This right here. Yeah, I'm on the front of the island. Oh, yeah, it's back here with the biathlon starts. I have eight minutes to get there. I think I'm good. Yeah, and then we've got um, about ten minutes until the dance-off starts. Dance-off is always fun. Okay, so uh, something else that uh, we didn't mention. Gamma recruits are still a thing. If you are looking to uh, take part, uh, get a gamma recruit, haven't done it yet, definitely, pick, you know, good time to pick it up. I think you, I, I can't remember now, you have until the end of the month maybe? I, I or believe it 20th, is. Or let's see here. Info goes until July 22nd. So oh. you have until July 22nd to, to, to make gamma recruits. Uh, uh, like all the... Re if you haven't done it, do it. It's worth it. All the rewards are awesome and amazing. Oh, here. We can do a site-to-site. -site. Go back to site-to-site uh, -site beam to resort. So yeah, they they did put in site to site uh, transports. You can use these to help get around the island, especially if you're trying to make it to the start point for a an event. Uh, much like your, let's say we want to go get up here to the dance off, which that's gonna be a little while before that starts. But uh, let's go ahead and do flying high. Okay, flying high. This one is a, you can, well, it used to be only once every 20 hours. Now you can do flying high 
every 10 minutes, I think. I think it's we found 12 out. minutes, 12 something minutes. like that. Um, so you need a floater. If you don't have one, you can rent one. It will put, um, and it may not be the same for other people, but it will put the circles on the map. You can look and see where they are. They will also have arrows. And you're, uh, you're just following the little green trail here is all you're doing. Yeah. And I don't know that Nicodus and I have the same one. Um, something oh. I learned is uh, you, you pretty much don't have to break. You, you can just hit, hold down going forward as fast as you can. And then I use the, uh, what, A and D to make myself, like, angle left and right as I go. It works pretty well. Um, yeah, you with can... The... With the higher higher grade of floaters, your your turn rate becomes silly enough to make this very very simple and very very quick. Um, I'll go up here and do this one that's farther away. Um, you'll get five of these little tracks to spawn. You need to do three of them to complete uh, the mission. Usually, it doesn't take very long, especially if you have one of the higher speed floaters. We have, I have had one glitch out, and, uh, yeah, it basically, I don't know if it's, I flew too fast or whatever, but it's actually the one I'm doing right now. I've had it not count that I've gone through the thing, and it, they all just start disappear. they disappear, and while the track is still on the ground, or, well, in the air, to follow, there's no gate to go through because this is kind of like a slalom race um and as uh is it the red uh in in in, in game ha has mentioned yeah typically there are site-to-site -site transports to go to the the start position for events so if you don't want to have to fly there or whatnot, you most of the time you can just take the transport and be right at the start spot. Uh, I, however, tend to like to get there a little early, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, both races, uh, both, uh, what was the name for that? Making Waves, which is the power, power board race, and the uh, yeah, B-Athlon. <laughs> Uh, the biathlon have a, uh, you can just beam to the start point when it's ready to go. Makes it easy. And then the site-to-site -site transport, the resort is the one that beams you right over here to your, your starting point. Same as if you beam down from your ship. The uh, promenade is the one that beams you. And look at me instead of actually doing it to show you. Beams you over there by that light lighthouse. And where the vendors are. And then the camp is back there by the start of the uh, biathlon again. All right. Um, dance off is coming up. One of the tips I have for the dance off is to pop out your um, emotes. And the way to do that here, let me. Yes, we see you, Darren. How you doing? The, the way to do that is to uh, you hit the chat config and then you go to your emotes and then if you look at the top there is a pin. You click the pin, it pops out your emotes into a new window and now you can, when they tell you to do a dance, just go down to the dance section and you can I just normally sit here, click it um, and you can just watch whatever the NPC says and dance. Apparently, I'm missing some new, some of the newer dances. I am too. On this character, I am. I'm missing. I just bought Cupid. Uh, I'm missing Fan, Groove, Jester, Samba, Shuffle, Victory at Sompek, and Swish. Oh, and Zombie. That that's Victory at Sompek. <laughs> the one where you die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's considered a dance? Do that You've again. You've done the Sompek fights, haven't you? Apparently not. Uh, it's a fun event. And there is 
lightning like that involved uh, a lot. Um, and getting stunned, it, it, it happens. I mean, <laughs> that that's why, yeah, for those that have done Sompec, understand. But yeah, I... Uh, I your your uh, screen capture is gone. Mine oh no. is still up, but yours says it's looking ah. for a game to capture. Wonderful. And why do, why why are you vexing me tonight? Uh, hey, wow, it works on that one now. <laughs> what ups? So the dance my character is doing right now is the Cupid dance. Here's the Ferengi dance. Um, for the dance off, all the dances that they have you do are the basic ones that you will have in the game. And then just by doing the uh, dance off, you'll unlock the Samba advanced, or at least that's how I got it. Which is the one my character's doing right now. And that Cation's doing as well. There we go. Hey, you're back. I know I'm back. Um, for those that uh, maybe I don't know if you saw this, everybody. Um, and apparently we are getting bots, lots of bots. Oh my! Gotta love bots. Bots? Yeah, bots. What are you talking Want to about? become famous? Buy followers. Oh, those bots. Those bots. Oh, uh, the I'm... ones you banning. <laughs> exactly. Um, I can't answer that, Kramer. What I what I can tell you is, uh, for a lot of, uh, I guess, not wanting to get sued reasons. They can't use the same names. Like this dance that my character is doing right now is from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It is it is called the Carlton, um, but here in game they just call it the Unusual Dance. If you didn't see how I penned the emotes, I'll go through it one more time because I don't know where my screen got wonky. Um, but you, you click on the chat configuration on the lower right. Um, now I guess you can't see that because here, I'll just go to this version. Hopefully it'll show just, so down here on the chat, you hit click this and then there's the emotes and then you can click on the pen and it will let you drag out the emotes and then you can have just the dances in, in, in the frame. So that way you can just click and go, makes it a little easier. But, uh, yeah. And then you just got to set it. So dance mix is at the very top and dance wave hands is at the bottom. And you'll have every dance in there that this person is going to make you do. And then when here in a minute, uh, you'll have to click the I want to dance. Uh, make sure you do it. You can do all the dances without clicking that and you won't get anything. But if you click True the enough. dance thing, uh, yeah, I want to dance. Then, then you, uh, I think there is, there's the running man. I want to dance. There I want, we go. I want to dance, dance. Oh. Okay. So over here on the right, there's a dance party countdown. Um, and that will tell you, um, information about the dance off as it's going on. But then your actual quest log up here will tell you how many you've got until you get your next reward. So the first reward is uh, 15 low Lunette favors. You get it at three and then you'll be at zero out of five. When you get that, you'll get, uh, I'm sorry, the first one is 10. Second one is 15. The third one, which will cost you 10 um, or takes 10. And there's the dance. Oh, the robot. Let me get the right one. 
wave your hands. It's an alphabetical, in case you are curious. <laughs> um, uh, in total, you get a hundred, so it's it's ten, fifteen, uh, twenty-five, and fifty, and the requirements are three, five, ten, and twenty. It's a decent way to get a decent amount of the favors, especially if you're saving up to buy stuff. So here in the dance party, it says do the leg kick, and then up here in your quest log, it says I'm zero out of five. Oh, I'm yes, one man. out of... Yeah, I missed the very first one because I was talking. Apparently, can I can't also... get the Just Dance one to work for any of the dances. It's the dance mix. I... When it's just dance, it's the very top one, the dance mix. The dance basic does not count. Darren and I found that out the other day. Well, that's the one I clicked on. I was like, oh, I'll try this one. Running man. Back to the robot. Also known as an Arnold movie. Right? Do the robot. And the robot again. See, now I'm zero out of ten. More favors. I actually like doing the dance off. I... It's not bad. Do the leg kick. It Although, gets sometimes a little repetitive, but I mean, it, it's not a bad event. It, it, decent favors for what you do. I used to actually have to try and type all these out. Do the side step. I was so glad when I figured out how to un uh, pin this so it's sitting here. Makes things so much easier. Just dance. Again, that just dance is the dance mix. None of the others were count. And you have plenty of time to, to make a few mistakes and still get all the favors. I mean, it's a 10-minute thing. It will not take you 10 minutes to uh, get all of this, you know, get it all the way to the completion. So. Do the robot. Back to the robot. The past few times I've done this, the robot was, like, almost never picked. Uh, apparently, this uh, dance instructor is wanting to make up for lost effort. Um, something you don't have to worry about is if these are all the free dances, they only call out the free dances, You, all the ones that you pick up from events or buying or whatever, they are not any of the ones that they will choose. So it's not like you have to have, oh, I have to go do this special thing to get this special dance to do this, this event. You don't need that definitely worth noting Do the robot. Uh, it's also worth noting that for the dance off you can stop at any time just get up and walk away you won't get penalized for it um, you just won't earn any additional winnings for it so like if I were to walk away right now I would walk away with 25 favors uh, but here in one more dance, I'll be up to 50. Just dance. So that puts me at 50 for the event. Now, if I want to do 20 more, uh, it will knock it up to 100. So Th This and takes you less than else. five minutes to, to do all this, so... While we are sitting here, though, I have a question for you, Grebog. 
I, I might have an answer, or I'll have an answer, whether you like it or not. What do you think about the ship this year? I like the look. I know it's the same, or, well, it is the uh, ship that from... Okay, they did the cruiser at a Tier 5 level in the summer event oh, way back. Um, and this is basically a Tier 6 version of the same ship. I did not like the, the, the look of the ship from the Tier 5. I do like the ship appearance on this. Now, the color, which you can change with vanity shields and whatnot, is fine. Um, I would probably prefer a, a, a change of color. But other than that, it looks interesting. I, I, I might fly it a little, you know. Um, this one actually comes with a console. The other one came with a console, too. Oh, I didn't remember that, I guess. Snake, here's one she hasn't done yet. Uh, it was like the Soliton Wave Generator or something like that. Or Soliton. I don't know. Wave your hands. Whoa. Wave. <laughs> I'm waving. Oh, I'm out of sync with everybody else. Oh, no. So is the Klingon. Uh, see, here's something that makes me laugh. Right behind my character is a Klingon in full battle gear doing these dances. And for some reason, that just cracks me up. Yeah, well, I heard a joke on uh, the, the one Facebook group of what's scarier than a, than a Gorn in a Speedo? I don't know. What is scarier than a Gorn in a Speedo? A Lethian in a Speedo. <laughs> I guess I could see that. And we're back to the snake. I mean, it, it, someone was saying how, how, how it was scary to see a Gorn in a Speedo, and then like, someone was like, no, no, a Lethian is much worse. Uh, we had a Gem Hadar here briefly. That would be funny to see too, a Gem Hadar doing these dances. And a Speedo. <laughs> well, probably not as scary as a Lethian. <laughs> there are a lot of cosmetics um, for this event. There are also a lot of there's a a lot of the um I guess holiday or I guess also you could call them season events they they put in a lot of cosmetic stuff. Oh, hey, one of the birds. It's on your screen. Yeah, I was gonna say that that bird is actually something you can get here too. That's I have, another. I have a bird. Pet. I, I'm working on it. I don't have one yet, but I'm. I'm currently running the stuff to raise one, so. Do the side step. I will have a bird and a monkey. I might have more than one bird. I, I don't know. I have pets in my, I'm I have pets in my vault. I'm sorry, poor poor things. Um, <laughs> they're in stasis. That that's what that's what it is. Don't don't turn me into Peta. Mine are all with me at the moment, except for my robot. The the mini robot I don't carry around with me. With your hands. But I've got uh, Porthos, the alternate version. Uh, my Caracal and uh, a couple of uh, Tardigrades and then the uh, Horda. So most of what you're seeing here, if you, if you look around, you'll see a lot of swimsuits. Um, these are all bought here on Ryza. Um, you can see some of the pets. There are all kinds of pet. Well, there's all kinds of cosmetics and pets and uh, something. If you don't know when you're in the vendor, um, which I can show here in a minute, you can actually choose to see the appearance um, before it uh, you buy it 
So if you are curious on what it looks like, this should be it. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Davey. Oh, wait. Wrong. That, mm, mm. Let's see here. And you Lock have to get back. off the club floor, the dance floor, to be able to use your floaters again. Uh, or, or, well, you have to be in water to get the power board. So let's see. I'll head over here. And I'm going to head over to the power board race and sets next. So this is like the new stuff they always mark with the new tag and they always put typically put them on top then underneath uh, the food there is all these outfits and then you even have swimwear and a whole nother tab so if you want to save up um, which I, I'm going to save up I, I need to get some uh, I, prob I probably should get some swimwear for this guy the rolled, the rolled pants is fine and all, but I, I need to be a little more comfortable well. Yeah, that's... I finally, you know, broke down and bought a swimsuit for my Romulan here. So the finish line is there for the power board race. The, the start line is over here, where you can buy power boards. Like, you can buy them up front. Before, you could only buy them back here. Um... Why did I hear something, like, warp in? <laughs> I mean, it's fine and all. So here's where the power board race starts. Oh, here, I'm going to... I guess I'll run back so I can do the transport. The second floor of the building to the left of the power board start race is where you find that vendor I was talking about for the... Uh, duty officers I don't know how good or bad any of these are um I mean it all depends on what you're looking for Kramer we're happy to help you with that um we also have some older episodes where we did a couple of deep dives on builds um, but even over the last month we've been working on uh, equipment for the different energy types. So we've done a show on uh, equipment for phasers, disruptors, plasma, and Polaron. If you're using any of those types. We plan on finishing that up. The last two types would be Tetrion and uh, Antiproton. So at some point in time, we'll hit those. So, in case you're curious, um, while the finish line is short, quicker to go the opposite direction than I am facing, um, the power board race goes the opposite direction the biathlon race goes for the water, like the water portion of the the uh, biathlon race. So you you have to go the other way. I don't know that there are any bridge officers you can pick up out here. The duty officers? They're duty officers, yes. And there's also the pet vendor. Or, well, maybe not pet vendor, but uh, here, let me. Oh, I guess the power, it starts to, I need to. I got 13 seconds here, and hopefully it'll let me teleport in. It, it should. Kramer, I don't know what race you're playing. If you're not playing a Romulan, uh, you should go pick up a couple um, officers from our col not colony. What is that? The the uh, embassy. There, the diplomatic there side of our our fleet holdings. Beam to race start button on the bottom right of my screen. It's going to bring me right up here with everybody. I will need um, to get you back can on pick my power up, board. They are... What are they? They are tactical? Yes, they're tactical. Tactical Romulan boffs. You want the blue ones, not the purples. It uh, they says, have a, a trait. It says they're blue quality before you buy them, but once you buy them, because they changed what deems a bridge officer blue or purple quality, 
they are actually a purple quality bridge officer. Um, and it's because they have a superior trait. Typically, if they have, if you have a superior trait, you are, you are, the bridge officer is given, uh, you know, purple quality. And here we go. So this is just a race. Um, there's no switching to your uh, jetpack on this one. Just the power boards. So many people doing the race. Yeah, towards the end of the event, that won't really be a thing. Don't mind me going over rocks. It's fine. It's completely fine. It dismounted me. I was in the air so long it dismounted me. Didn't disqualify me. Just kicked uh. me off my speeder. And it didn't give me the speed boost either. Here's hoping some of these people get disqualified. Okay, I'm still in the race. I, I am no longer in the main pack. I, I, I went so high, I've taken fall damage. Yeah, I did too, and then it kicked me off my power board. Oh, I hit the lamp on the on the jump. Or I guess the oh oh geez. I am what the This thing uh, is a little glitchy. It's not giving me the all the speed ups it should be, but that's alright. Well, I'm no longer I, I, I apparently have dropped it because I would went way too far too fast. I'll still yeah, if you go... go to the though the finish line still is here. Still marked for me, but I don't get the You can't oh, well. click on it. No. Yeah, I got disqualified earlier. Luckily this time I did not. Well, for those that got to watch me, I suddenly had this massive speed boost and could not turn. It's almost like uh I got hit by I don't know what happened. It was really weird. And then a turn came, and I still couldn't turn. And I'm like, wait, and I had the... And then what's funny is this is the most maneuverable power board, which makes me wonder what would ha have happened otherwise. Uh, Sysil... Um... There's nothing wrong with Polaron damage unless it's just not what you want to use. Um, my Gemhadar uses all Polaron still, um, and I was actually working on getting a bunch of stuff to uh, improve uh, Polaron damage. Um, there's some good items out there for it. I... Phaser and Disruptor are largely still considered the best, um, but it's recommended that if you have... Uh, multiple characters that you use a different energy type on each just to help complete endeavors. Again, that's not required. Or at least you could have each each ship have a different energy type or something like that, however you want to do it. But it, it's a good idea to have different builds just to help complete endeavors. Yeah. I kind of like polar on damage, but uh, they unfortunately do not... There, there's not a lot of consoles that do the plus Polaron damage. Not not like they have for Disruptor and Phaser. Um, it, it's obvious why they would do probably th favor those two because Phaser is obviously for Fed and Disruptor typically Klingon Romulan builds or, well, now everyone has builds, but you know. So here in a minute, the Horgon hunt will begin. This will be the uh, actually the last of these little mini games, um, and then it, it will start over with the uh, biathlon. To get <laughs> higher One than the Mark Twelve. Um, equipment for your ship, you need to upgrade the, the items. Uh, the way to do that is to go into... Well, in your inventory in the bottom left, there is the upgrade, and it pulls up a whole new window, and you can upgrade 
Uh, I lost connection to WoW. Or not WoW. STO. <laughs> Wrong game. Uh, actually, Wrong I did game. as well. Let me try to... Let me... Let me... I'll have to share my screen with you again. Oh, the, everyone did. Um, so this may be a talking in scene. We may just end up talking about the... But, uh, yeah, to get past Mark 12, you you have to upgrade it. That is where the upgrades that you, you um, get are from... Maybe it was everyone in our instance. Maybe our instance server crashed. It is letting me back in. Well, hopefully it will soon detect. Okay. Wow, it put me all the way back over on the dance party. Me... Um, I believe I'm sharing my screen again, so whenever you get a chance to grab it. Let me fix it. Yeah, as, as I, I... I just fell because I was... It had me floating somewhere. I think... Looks like we're back. Good. All right. Yeah, it had me fall. As soon as I logged in, I fell. Where am I? This, this oh, didn't I'm, kill you. I'm back by where turning in, yeah, the power board stuff. Or, like, where you start the power board, or the biathlon, and you turn in the uh, artifact. Okay. So we should still be able to complete this uh, Horgan hunt. Um, I put myself in your instance. You go down here. Do I want to hunt for Horgans? It's just called the Horgan Hunt Quest. Pick that up. Welcome to Risa. And then you're going to have all these little arrows show up all over the place. So all you're doing is flying around. You should be able to see. Well, that one vanished on me. I hope that's not another glitch here. If someone beats you to it, it will. Yeah. But, uh. Enjoy your visit. You essentially can go, go, go finding these things. They are all over the place. Well, I do not have any arrows showing me them anymore. The yeah, arrows all went away. I Apparently, it just wants me to go back to the main area and turn it in. Um, you can search for them with your... Um, scan. Which, for those that forget, that is V on your... Oh. And they will show up with the, you know, the glowing here that you can pick up. Why does it say... Watch stream. Yes. What in the world? Apparently it stopped. But, uh, there it is. But you, you get favors every time you find one, so, uh. And then if you get 10 of them, it will reward you with 75 favors. Well, now I'm not having any more show up. There we uh, go. Typically, that just means you're not close enough to some. You just need to fly around a little bit and hit, keep hitting V, and eventually you'll get another next one on target. Yeah, that's what I did. There it is. This is interesting, doing this without the uh, arrows. This is the way, back in the old school days, this is how you... Uh, Used to do it. <laughs> yeah, it tells you how often I did the summer event. It's like old school ways. It's the only way you could do it. Oh. 
I'm five out of ten. Um, you will not find any right up on the resort, so my flying past here. I do know where one typically spawns, so that's why I'm flying this way. They they do have pretty much a set spawn location. So if you are good have a good memory, you can pretty much just keep like figure out a path and do do that. There used to be I actually, when I did this a lot to farm, uh, the long, you know, the favors, I, I would uh, pick a path, and I like pretty much had an idea. There should be one out on this island. Or not. There should be a bunch by the lighthouse. I call this the lighthouse, even though I don't know that it's technically the lighthouse. And there's my number 10. Now this turn in... Um, will pop up, at least for me, it has been popping up automatically. Uh, if it doesn't, it's another guy down here in these. Uh... Oh, no, I take that back. It's up front, almost by the dance uh, floor to turn it in, if you need to turn it in manually. And there you go. So I was, right before we started, I made a purchase. Um... So I was down to almost no low lunette favors. And here, after doing all these events, I'm at 525. So uh, about 500 in uh, an hours of work. Um, so you can see how it goes pretty quick. Now, it does get repetitive. Um, I mean, I usually run through each event once a day and... Um, make a purchase every other day. But if you really want to grind it out, uh, you can. You could basically buy everything in one day if you really wanted to focus on it. And, and don't mind me kneeling in, in, the, in the middle of the air. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, my, my floater. Well. I want a floater. They're pretty cool. I want one in real life. All right, so. All right, um, so. How many yes. more you got? I'm done. Okay. So uh, that took us almost our full hour to run through everything, and then the events uh, recycle. Now, there is a kind of a random quality to when they pop up. They don't always show up in the same order. Um, but that was all the current events. Unlike the winter event, where they seem to add something new every a uh, couple years. This one hasn't really changed. Um, I keep hoping they'll add something. Uh, they've I... certainly changed things, like they've changed the cooldown on flying high. You can do flying high roughly once every 10 minutes, and uh, each time you do it, it rewards 50 low lunate favors. So, you know, you can log in every 10 minutes, knock that out, get your 50, go do something else for a while. Um, I don't know about the hoverboard, Darren. Uh, I might be a little afraid to use a hoverboard in real life, but the floater would be cool. Um, I'm sure it'd be fine. It, it'd be an interesting fine. way to get to work. <laughs> Especially in winter? Right. <laughs> Just have to make sure you you know, you know have a full charge. Wouldn't want it to uh, die on you halfway there. <laughs> Okay, so uh, today was episode 52. Uh, for those of you who, who know year mechanics and whatnot, um, know time well, uh, this would complete our year. So, 
next episode, episode 53, um, is going to be our anniversary. Um, it actually, we did the math. It actually comes up to right about, I mean, it's not the exact day, um, but it's it's pretty close. So we're going to celebrate our year anniversary next Monday. In order to do that celebration, we are going to have a bunch of friends log in with us, and we are going to shoot each other a whole bunch. And you'll probably see me and Greebog blow up a whole bunch. Um, It'll be at least fine. the last, at least the last time we did PvP. That's that's more or less the way it worked out. Um, we have uh, some old friends, some new friends joining us. We still have room for about four more people. If anybody listening wants to join us, um, you can find contact information at fleetactionreport.com. You can find me or Greebog in game. I am at Nikodas. That's at N I K O D A S. And he is at Real Greebog, G R E B O G. Um, so, you know, if you want to join us, we have space for four people. That would give us two five-man teams. Um, I, but don't worry about it if, if you're going to be our fifth wheel or whatever. Um, the the players, we can even the teams out. Even if even if they're odd numbers, uh, you know, we can even it out by who has b- the better gear and whatnot. We'll, we'll make it work. So it'll um, be all of us versus Tabitha. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that may be a thing that we do. Sure, uh, <laughs> I was kind of hoping Dent would come along to uh, to balance Tabitha out. Um, unfortunately, he is not going to make it. Um, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure how we're going to handle that. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but uh, you know, Kramer, if you want to join us, that you'd be more than welcome. Um, Darren's already popping in. Corsair is going to join us. Tabitha is going to join us. Um, Max from AIE is going to join us. Uh, At Midnight Age is going to join us, and then of course me and Greebog will be there. And uh, Sisil, sure, that's I don't have any problem with that. Um, are you in our fleet, Sisil? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, he he spoke up. He is or, or she? I guess I should not assume. Um, uh, I guess they are not online right now. Uh, I think it is it is it the red? I believe is the handle in fleet. Um, you know they they told us earlier. I can do scroll up to find it, but uh, that's that's exactly what happened last time. Darren Tabby absolutely kicked all our butts. Now I have I have changed my build and. Uh, my equipment since then i have leveled up gear a little bit more so i i'm not at all saying that i'm i'm going to be on even footing to tabitha but i'm at least hoping i stand up a little better than i did last time but uh, we will see should be fun either way and uh, like i said we're looking for more people now um oh i should also mention that due to my work schedule changing again um here in a couple weeks we may be switching from mondays uh, back to wednesdays we we did that once before due to my work schedule uh, they seem to like to forcibly change my days off um so they are they are doing that again and i have a job interview tomorrow so uh it, it my schedule may change again um I still have to finalize those plans with Greebog, uh, but we may be switching from Mondays to Wednesdays. It would still be the 9 p.m., and we'll still do a uh, event, a fleet event, after the show. Um, but that's what we're looking at right now, and that, that'll be not next week. Next week's the anniversary, but maybe the week after that. And uh, we'll make an announcement on our Facebook page um, and in AIE when that decision is made. Um, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the good looks. Okay, so our fleet target, that was our primary target and secondary target. Our fleet target, K-13 is done. Let me pull this up. Usually I let Greebog do this. But I've got it up myself. Today. There, I'll let you do it. You can talk about the fleet. So, so as he said, K-13 is done. The only thing that is in K-13 right now is the tailor. 
Um, this will unlock a, a new uh, cosmetic. I always want to say transmog. A new cosmetic uh, for everyone. Uh, basically, once we get the, the tailor at K13, everyone will be able to go there and pick up a free cosmetic for everyone. Um, that, that, that is the last project other than keeping provisions going. Um, I will try to keep an eye on that. If not, uh, poke me every so often. If you need want to buy something and you are looking for provisions, um, I will get something queued up for that. Uh, that means we have the colony and the starter base is left. Um, and the colony is moving right along. We are closing in on Tier 4 for a few of the, the branches, which also means we will have colony Tier 4 overall pretty soon. And then comes the Tier 5. Tier 5, from my understanding, is going to take a while, much like Starbase Tier 5. Um, because essentially it takes 200... Or, yeah, you, you have to get up to 100,000 in each of these branches just to get to Tier 4. Well, now, Tier 5, you have to get up to 250,000. It, it's a good while um, to get there, so... But you guys are doing really well. I mean, the fleet starbase is making decent progress. I, I mean, it's just going to take a while. Just keep working on it. You guys are doing great. I think that's pretty much it for fleet holdings and so on. All right. Well, if then. If you want to find us, we're at aie-guild.org. Um, you can join us in-game. Um, look up one of the officers. Uh at Nicodus, at, at I was like I was gonna dent, but he's not. He's been pretty busy as of late. Um, you you can also find there. There's a Discord server we use through aie-guild.org. Um, in the STO channel, you can hit us up there too to get in, fleet invites. It's probably easier to contact us that way if you want. If you want more than just Nicodus and I. Because there, we have other fleet officers that can help get you invited to the fleet. And, yeah. But you don't have to join the Discord. It, it's not required. It just makes an easier communication form. And planning. I mean, and we, planning. Do a lot of, we do a lot of event planning through that. Or we ask questions about when to do events. Well, we also, we also ask questions like... People like, hey, I, I want to. I need help with my build. Can someone help me? And people will help people. It's a great place to get get help with uh, stuff. We also have a KDF fleet. Um, yeah. So the, the KDF fleet, I can switch over to it quick. Uh, it's not moved as much or as quickly, but that's because we pretty much focus on Fed side. So. I mean, we're working on the dilithium mine so we can get all of the uh, discounts unlocked. So that way it will cost us less dilithium, less marks, and all that in the long run. Um, apparently I need to queue up some more projects because I am a slacker. But uh, other than that, I mean, the dilithium mine is moving right along, even still with, with people not playing it as much it is or playing as much on the kdf side we are still moving right along on on the uh, dilithium mine so yeah uh, once the dilithium's mine mine is done in, in the kdf side we i will start work putting other things forward i know we're someone, just trying to get yeah we just want to get the discounts first so we can kind of take advantage and not spend as much of the fleet resources uh, you know because uh, with less player or well less use it might not get move as quickly and with the discounts it'll help us move quick even a little more quicker all english, right so english is hard i'm bad at grammar sorry y'all <laughs> um so next week our one year anniversary You'll be PvPing with us if you care to join us. Uh, other than that, as always, I will leave you with the words of Q. See you out there. Live long and prosper. <laughs>